also, I also have smaller newsrooms. Monica Pirella knows how it feels to be on the outside. We are a small team of five. It's how she feels we on this together. call. We are the staff for Notivision Georgia. An important call for her business. A call where she struggles to keep up because it's not in her native language. Hola, mucho gusto. Hola, mucho gusto. But the reason Pirela is on this call is because she's doing something about it. Saludos amigos, bienvenidos. Pirela runs Notivision Georgia. Each week she broadcasts a 12-minute Spanish language newscast aimed at her area. Muchas organizaciones y agencias no conocen las necesidades de la comunidad hispana. Y, y romper esas barreras ha sido un trabajo duro. Pirela reports her husband Jay Cruz runs the camera when she doesn't do it herself. And that's it. That's what keeps the Spanish-speaking community in Warner Robins from being on the outside in a way far too common in America. When we talk about the press, we often talk about mainstream media. Penny Muse Abernathy leads Northwestern University's local news initiative. She found nearly every state in America has at least one news desert, a county without a newspaper or regular access to local news. Without them, what fills that vacuum? Misinformation, disinformation, and a politicization and polarization in this country. Abernathy's team found in news deserts, voter participation goes down, corruption goes up, and sometimes taxes go up because citizens aren't informed. But even in places with plenty of news, not every community is served by it. That's the case in Warner Robins. That's the case for Pirela. ¿Dónde trabaja? Trabajo en casa. Este es el estudio. From her garage. Nuestro micrófono. From her driveway. Y también para los padres. And in the community. Pirela produces reports, develops events, and collects goods and gifts for festivals and drives. Es un uh, trabajo de pasión. Sí, es un trabajo de pasión. Now, she's caught the eye We're about saving local news. of the Pivot Fund. And that means serving people who haven't been served before. Tracy Powell has made her mission supporting minority media outlets across Georgia. We are looking to grow. Her group, the Pivot Fund, raised $2 million in grants for seven news organizations. I drove across the state to see what existed that wasn't on the radar. Now this two-person show can hire three new employees for three years of work. Un director de ventas, un reportero, un creador de contenido. Pero uh, continúa a, a usar el garaje. <laughs> Pero estamos en el garaje. A hundred pivot funds couldn't fill every news desert in America or the pockets of deserts in specific communities. Even for Pirera, hurdles persist because here she is on this call and there's still the barrier of language. But it's a start. It befits a woman whose casa es una promesa de Dios, but whose flower pot outside wishes, Happy fall, y'all. Monica Pirella. Whose four year old daughter will learn English at school, even if she speaks mostly Spanish at home. Her work is water for a desert that keeps so many on the outside. Que nosotros estamos aquí y que nuestra comunidad tiene necesidades que ellos deben eh, prestar atención. In Warner Robins, Georgia, I'm Matt Pearl.